Welcome back, Broncos fans. Game two of today's doubleheader. Start getting set to start here in a few minutes. Marcus Miller will be on the mound for the Broncos. Broncos trying to rebound from the 12 0 loss in game one. Defensive arrangement for the Broncos. Miller on the mound. Kistler is catching. Dylan Otto at first. Ben Richter at second. Jace Valdez at shortstop. Jared Delgado at third. Gavin Hogenkamp in left field. Jaden Stone in center. And Tristan Martinez in right. Lane Darrow will lead things off for Dakota Wesleyan. Miller, sophomore left-hander out of Hastings, Nebraska, a hometown kid on the mound. Been one of the starters for the Broncos. And we're about set to get going here. First pitch from Miller is a strike. Or excuse me, is a ball. 1-0. Working out of the windup. That one misses outside. Miller falls behind 2-0 here. So far on the year. Miller has made, played in seven games. Is that one... Drops in there for a strike. He's a one and three record and six games started. The two one pitch to Darrow, fouled back. Count even now at two and two. The 2-2 pitch. Misses high. Count goes full here. The payoff pitch. Strike three called. Slider broke into the zone. And Darrow goes down looking for out number one. Drew Kitchen steps up to the plate now. Right-handed hitting 
second baseman. Lines that one right at the shortstop, Jace Valdez, who puts it away for out number two. Two down here. Brings Caleb Myers to the plate. Myers picked up a few hits in the first game of today's doubleheader. That one brushes him back. He drops to the floor and gets out of the way. One ball, no strikes. A little bit of cloud coverage, but you can still see some blue skies here. For game two, that one has popped up to center field. Stone tracking it. Moves to his left, camps under it, and makes the catch for out number three. Three up, three down here in the top of the first. We'll be back for the bottom of the first. No score here at Duncan Field. Brady Christoffels is the starting pitcher for Dakota Wesleyan. Christoffels, a senior, transferred from Luther College. He's appeared in five games. One win, one loss, one save. And working with a 405 ERA. That one, first pitch to Stone is lifted to deep left field, and it is caught by Rusink for out number one. Delgado will step up to the plate now. Christoffel's working out of the stretch with nobody on. That one is hit hard to deep left field. Rusink going back. He's at the wall. It bounces off the wall. Delgado is going to round second and head for third. Throw comes in. Delgado is going to dive in there safely. Jared Delgado with a triple off the wall. That will bring Tyler Kistler up. A great swing by Delgado. Put it off the wall there in left field. A very well hit ball, and that's against the wind as well. Tyler Kistler up now. That one misses outside. One and oh. Christoffels peers in for the sign. Swings and misses at that curveball. Count even now at one and one. The Broncos have a runner on third with one out here in the bottom of the first. They would love the opportunity to score first here. The pitch. In the dirt, knocked down by the catcher. Ryan McGinnis behind the plate for... Dakota Wesleyan here in game two. A 
That one is hit foul and out of play. Count even now at two and two. Christoffels peers in for the sign. He's got what he wants and comes set. Kicks and deals. Misses outside. Count full now. Great take there from Kistler laying off the outside slider. The payoff pitch from Christoffels comes. Chopped towards short. That's going to score the run. Fires across. Kistler is put away, but Jared Delgado comes in to score. And the Broncos score first. It's 1-0 here in the bottom of the first. Jace Valdez up to the... Two down here. Valdez, a right-handed hitting shortstop, steps up to the plate. Pitch is grounded to short. Picked up. And he bobbles it, throws it to first, in time to put Valdez away. Got him just by half a step after Theraldson bobbled the ball, dropped it for a second. But that will be out number three. But the Broncos score one after the Jared Delgado triple. We'll head to the top of the second. one nothing Broncos lead. Seth Christensen will step up to the plate here in the bottom, top of the second. Christensen is the DH in game two. He was the starting pitcher in game one, went seven innings complete, game shutout. Now he's back to DH. Chops that one foul down the third baseline. Miller picks up the rosin and... We'll tell the rubber. Timeout called the umpire. Going to have a word with Miller. Looks like he wants to check the ball. See if it's scuffed or anything. And it looks like they're going to head back to their positions. Miller shaking his head slightly. Uh, not quite sure what that was about, but he's going to step back on the rubber here. 0-1 count. The pitch misses outside. 1-1 one one here. <clears throat> Miller, the left-handed pitcher, working out of the windup here. Swing and a miss at that one. Christensen took a big hack on a slider, couldn't make contact. He's down one and two now. Fouls that one back. One ball, two strikes here.
Working from the left side of the rubber, Miller kicks and fires. That one misses high. One ball, two strikes. Excuse me, two balls, two strikes. Counts even. The 2-2. Two -two. Just missed that one. A little inside and low. Count full now at 3-2. and two. The payoff pitch fouled back into the net. Christensen putting up a fight here. Count remains full. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch from Miller. Strike three called. Froze him there on a slider. Christ Christensen goes down looking for out number one. Brings Oscar Pravacek up to the plate, getting his first at-bat of game two. Here's the pitch, misses outside. Miller toes the rubber, kicks and deals. Just missed the outside corner. Two balls and no strikes here. The 2-0 in the dirt. Three balls and no strikes. Dakota Wesleyan dugout getting vocal. Trying to get in the head of Miller. He appears unfazed, goes through his pre-pitch routine and steps back up on the mound. That one's in there for a strike. Back in the strike column, it's 3-1 here. The 3 balls, one strike. Hitters count here. That one is popped up on the infield. Ben Rector sets under it and makes the catch for out number two. A quick two outs here. We'll bring Joe Theraldson up to the plate. Theraldson steps up to the plate. Nobody on, two outs. Swings and misses at that one. Took a big hack and came up empty. Miller's ahead 0-1. Fouls that one away. Miller gets ahead quick 0-2 here on Theraldson. Working from the windup. Miller kicks and deals. Misses outside. Try to get him to chase. Theraldson did not go. 1-2 and two here. Starting to get cloudy and overcast again here in Hastings. We had a an hour or so of blue skies, and now it's back to overcast. That one is lifted into center field. That's going to drop for a single. So Theraldson has the first base hit of the game for Dakota Wesleyan. Single puts him on first, and that'll bring Michael Zeman to the plate. Miller working out of the stretch now. Lefty kicks and fires. That one skips away from the catcher. And Theraldson will move up to second. Slider just skipped off the glove and away to the backstop. One ball, no strikes now. Miller checks on the runner. Kicks and fires. That misses low. Two balls, no strikes. The 
The pitch. In the dirt, knocked down by Kistler. Kistler's working hard back there so far. 3-0 here. Miller is behind. Wind blowing towards left field. The pitch in there for a strike. Miller's back in the strike column. 3-1 count here. Checks on the runner and delivers. Strike two. Miller gets it to a full count now. He peers in for the sign. He's got the one he wants. Comes set. Payoff pitch. Fouled into the parking lot. Count remains three and two. Miller comes set, checks on the runner, and delivers. Strike three called. Froze him there. Nice slider right in the zone. Well, Miller gives up a hit, but then works out of it with a strikeout. One nothing. The Broncos still have the lead, heading to the bottom of the seventh. seventh bottom of the second, excuse me. We'll be back in a moment. Tyler Welsh will step up to the plate, getting his first at-bat of the game. Brady Christoffel still on the mound for Dakota Wesleyan. Right-hander peers in for the sign. Kicks and deals. That misses outside. One ball, no strikes. The pitch, grounded towards first, picked up by the first baseman, Pravacek, and he steps on the bag for out number one. Tristan Martinez will step up to the plate here. Right fielder for the Broncos. Right on right matchup. The pitch inside. Almost hit him. One ball, no strikes. The pitch caught the outside corner. Curve ball. One and one here. Kristoff delivers. That one is chopped. Foul. And Martinez is behind one and two here. Wind picking up, getting a little gust going through here. Blowing straight to left field. Just missed the outside corner. A little frustration from Kristoffel's. He thought that was there. Count's going to go even at two and two now. The 
the pitch. Fouls that one off. Count remains two and two here. Martinez reached on an error and had a single as well as a line out in game one. Trying to spark something here in the bottom of the second and he pops one over towards the second baseman who misreads it. He went back and the ball just held in the air and dropped. And Martinez is quick enough by that by the time the second baseman picked it up, he didn't have a play. So Martinez gets a single infield hit and that'll bring Gavin Hogan camp to the plate. I'll bring Gavin Hogan Camp up to the plate, the freshman playing left field for the Broncos. He had his first at bat of the day in game one as he fouls that one off. Got his first hit of the season for the Bron for the Broncos. Or as a Bronco. The freshman picked up a single late last game. Oh one count. Martinez leads off first. The pitch, runner goes, it's hit, foul. Hit and run was on. And Hogan Camp just pulled it about a foot foul down the line. So Martinez will return to first. And Hogan Camp is down 0-2 now after a couple foul balls. Christoffels. Picks over to first. Martinez back in there safely. Hogan Camp also on the football team for Hastings College. Played safety for the Broncos in the fall. Now he's out here playing left field for the baseball team. 0-2. And the pitch. Lined into center field. Darrow is going back, and that's going to go over his head. Martinez. He's going to round second. He's going to head home to score. Hogan Camp right on his tail. They're going to wave him in, and he's going to slip. Rounding third. So he will stay at third. He retreats there. But an RBI triple from Gavin Hogan Camp. Puts another run on the board for the Broncos. Great swing. You got to see Hogan Camp's speed there. He hustled around, almost caught up with Martinez. Brings Dylan Otto up to the plate. Otto getting his first at-bat of the day. Grounds that one foul. Really saw on Hogan Camp's swing that the wind is just carrying ball, any ball to left. It was hit hard, but it just kept carrying, and Darrow wasn't able to get a read on it. That one has popped up to right field. That'll be enough to... Score the run. Hogan Camp tags up, and he's easily going to score. So Broncos take a 3-0 lead here with two outs in the bottom of the second. So a sack fly from Dylan Otto scores Gavin Hogan Camp. It's a... 3-0 ball game here. That one is grounded to second. Picked up. Fires it over to first for out number three. But the Broncos tack on two more. They've got a 3-0 lead here heading to the top of the third. We'll be back in just a moment.
Ryan McGinnis will hit here in his first at bat of the series. Takes that one for a strike from Marcus Miller. McGinnis catching this game. This is his 16th game played. Comes in with a 176 average. That one's in the dirt. One ball, one strike here. McGinnis originally from Mitchell, South Dakota. That one just misses outside. Count is two and one here. Miller kicks and deals. Checks his swing and holds up. That just missed the zone as well. Three balls and one strike now. From the windup, 3-1. Swings and misses at that one. Counts full now. Three balls, two strikes. Miller shakes off a sign. Now he's got what he wants. Lined and off the glove of a diving Jace Valdez. So that'll be a single for McGinnis. That brings Landon Rusink up to the plate. So a hard ground ball gets into the outfield. That'll bring Landon Rusink up to the plate. Courtesy runner for the catcher goes out for Ryan McGinnis. He's on first now. Looks like Caleb Brewer, number 16. Rusink steps up to the plate, right on left matchup here. That one has popped up, and that'll go out of play into the parking lot. Brewer takes his lead. Miller checks, and he's going to pick over there. Brewer back in plenty of time. Only a few steps off the bag. Miller's got the sign he wants. Kicks and deals, squares to bunt. That's going to go foul. So Rusink unable to get the bunt down. Now he's behind 0-2. O2 here, Miller is ahead. Working from the third base side of the rubber. The lefty checks on first and delivers. Misses high. Rusink doesn't chase the high fastball there. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slider. Rusink strikes out for out number one. That'll bring us to the top of the order. Lane Darrow coming up. Darrow struck out looking in the first inning. This is second at bat against Miller. That one drops in there for a strike. A one count here. And starting to shift as Miller picks off. Otto jumps in the air to grab the ball. Starting to blow out a little bit towards center. See the flag in center field starting to blow away. The pitch swings and misses at that one. Just waved at it. And Miller gets ahead 0-2 once again. Checks over at first and delivers. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout. Makes it two outs here. Drew Kitchens coming up to the plate now. Second 
Kitchens lined out to short in his first at bat. Timeout called by the umpire. Miller comes set, kicks and deals. That one's in the dirt, knocked down by Kissler. Good stop by the veteran catcher. One ball, no strikes here. The pitch popped into right field. Martinez camps under it. Makes the catch for out number three. So Miller keeps rolling through the third inning. It's a 3-0 ball game. Your Broncos have the lead heading into the bottom of the third. We'll be back at Duncan Field in a moment. Jaden Stone stepping up to the plate for his second at-bat of the game here. Flew out to left in his first at-bat. Facing off against Chris Stoffels. Right on left here. That one misses low and away. Ball one. Chris Stoffels peers in for the sign. He's got the one he wants. Working out of the stretch. Lost his grip on that curveball. Floated it way high. Two balls and no strikes now. The 2-0 pitch. Lined in a center field. Darrow camps under it and makes the catch for out number one. I'll bring Jared Delgado up to the t plate. Delgado hit a triple back in the first inning. Ended up coming in to score the Broncos' first run. Hits that one high and deep to left field. Going back at the wall. Foul. Over the fence, but a few feet foul. That was hit very, very far. Delgado just pulled it a little foul. Showing off some power. Showing off his power there. That one catches the outside corner. 0-2 now for Delgado. That one misses in the dirt. One ball, two strikes here. That one bounces in there. Delgado holds up. Count even now at two and two. The 2-2. He comes set and fires way outside. Spiked a fastball in the other batter's box. 
And Delgado works it to a full count now. Three balls, two strikes here. The pitch hit to right field. That's going to go foul and drop in the outfield grass. Count still three and two here. Delgado putting together quality at bat here. Working the count full and fouling a few pitches off. The payoff pitch. Strike three called. Delgado thought it was away after hitting one of the furthest foul balls I've ever seen. Cleared the building across the street. Delgado goes down looking. Tyler Kistler up to the plate now. Two outs here. Tyler Kistler steps up to the plate. Christoffels kicks and fires, misses outside. 1-0 now. Out of the stretch, the pitch. That misses low as well. Christoffels starting to struggle. Those control here, missing the past few pitches low. And... He'll peer in for the sign. Come set. The pitch. Get me over curveball in there for a strike. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. That's hit. Foul towards the parking lot. Count even now at two and two. Kistler had a walk in his the first game. Looking for his first hit of the day. And he hits that one towards the gap in right center. That is going to drop for a hit. Kistler on his way to second. And he's going to be in there with the stand-up double. So Kistler picks up his first hit of the day. A double to the right center gap. Courtesy runner going to go out for him. It looks like Matt Lucero. Jace Valdez coming up to the plate. Matt Lucero is the courtesy runner for Tyler Kistler. He's out on second. Chase Valdez stepping up to the plate. Valdez grounded out in his last at-bat. Had a single in the first game. Picked up a few hits in yesterday's doubleheader as well. That one misses outside. 1-0. Still seeing some gusts of wind, making it a little chilly out here in Hastings, Nebraska. That one is lifted in the air to right field. That's going to go foul and out of play. Count even now at one and one. It's just one of those days where you say, you know, if it wasn't so windy, it wouldn't be bad at all. We've had a fair amount of sunlight so far today. The 1-1 pitch in there for strike two. Fastball on the inside corner, and Valdez is down in the count one and two now. Christoffels comes set. Checks over at Lucero and fires. That one has popped up on the infield. Kitchens camps under and makes the catch for out number three. It's a three-nothing ball game. Broncos still have the lead. We'll be back for the top of the fourth here in a moment.
Caleb Myers will be the leadoff batter here in the top of the fourth. Flew out to center in his first at-bat. Chops that one towards short. Nice stop by Valdez, who fires across the diamond. Otto is not able to pick it up. Pulled him a little up the bag, and he's not able to come up with it. So Myers will have an infield hit here. That will bring... Seth Christensen to the plate. Christensen struck out back in the second inning. He's got a runner on first and no outs here. That one breaks in a little high. One ball, no strikes. Miller peering in for the sign. Kicks in deep. That one is lifted in the air to right field. Martinez comes in, makes the catch for out number one. Brings Oscar Pravacek up to the plate. Pravacek. Popped out to second in his first at-bat. Myers leads off first. That one misses a little low. One ball, no strikes. The pitch popped up and goes foul. One and one counts even now. Miller checks over on the runner, and he's going to pick Myers back in the standing. One, one, one out here, runner on first. The pitch, swing and a miss. Ball tailed away from the bat, and Pravacek came up empty. Now he's down one and two. Miller. Peers in for the sign, in comes set. Works quickly here. The pitch, grounded towards short. Picked up by Valdez, he's gonna take it himself. Fires over to first for the double play. So a 6-3 double play. Great play by Jace Valdez, ends the inning. Broncos still have a three to nothing lead here. They'll be up to bat once again. We'll be back for the bottom of the fourth here in a moment. up 
Tyler Welsh will step up to the plate. The pitch. That misses low. One ball, no strikes. Welsh grounded out to first back in the second inning. Chops that one towards short. Picked up by Theraldson. Throws it over to first for out number one. Tristan Martinez stepping up to the plate. Martinez singled, ended up coming around to score on the Gavin Hogan camp triple in the second inning. Grounds that to short. Backhand play. Darrelson fires across the diamond just in time to make the play. So two down here. Two ground balls to short. Brings Gavin Hogan camp to the plate. Hogan Cam tripled in the second inning. Swings and misses. Chase that curveball. 0 oh 1 here. Got that tall stance. He takes that one for a ball. Holds his hands way up in the air and wiggles the bat around. The pitch, curveball, breaks in there for strike two. A one ball, two strikes here. The pitch, fouled back. Hogan Camp fights that one off. One ball, two strikes still. The pitch from Christoffels hit high in the air, left side. Third baseman going into foul territory, calls for it, makes the catch. Route number three, so the Broncos go three up, three down in the bottom of the fourth. But they've still got a 3 nothing lead. Heading to the top of the fifth. We'll be back in a moment. Joe Theraldson stepping up to the plate. He's the freshman shortstop for Dakota Wesleyan. Hitting 256 on the year. Takes that one for a ball. He did single in his first at bat back in the second inning. Miller working quickly. Kicks and deals. That one is lined into right field. Martinez giving chase. He's going to dive and make the catch. Outstanding play from Tristan Martinez. And he is slow to get up. I think the dive is a little rough. 
the outfield here at Duncan Field. It can be rather unforgiving, but he's going to stand up. And it looks like he's all right, just a little shaken up. Probably just got the wind knocked out of him. But a uh, highlight real play from Tristan Martinez puts Theraldson away for out number one. Michael Zeman will come up to the plate. Struck out in his last at-bat. Takes that one for a ball. Missed it a little high. 1-0 here. That one is fouled back and out of play. One ball, one strike now. Counts even. The 1-1 one, one here pops foul back into the parking lot. And Miller gets ahead 1-2 and two now. Miller toes the rubber. Kicks and deals. Grounded to short. Knocked down by Valdez. Fires to first. In time to make the play. What a play. Valdez diving, grabbing the ball, firing a bullet to first base to cut down Zeman by a step. A back to back am amazing plays on defense for the Broncos. And Miller has two outs now. First pitch to McGinnis misses for a ball. Miller still working out of the windup. Kicks and fires. That one misses high. Two balls, no strikes. Toes the rubber. And he peers in for the sign. He's got what he wants. Swing and a miss. McGinnis a little early on that off-speed pitch. Looked like a changeup. Now it's two balls, one strike. That one grounded to Jared Delgado. He picks it up, throws across the diamond for out number three. So some web gems from the Broncos. Martinez with the diving catch and right. And Jace Valdez ranging to his right and diving, making a great throw. And it's a one, two, three inning. Broncos still have the 3-0 lead, heading to the bottom of the fifth. Dylan Otto will be the leadoff batter here for the Broncos in the bottom of the fifth. Had a sack fly that scored a run back in the second inning. Looking to spark something here for the Broncos. That one misses low. Christoffel's still out there for his fifth inning of work. The pitch hit in the air. 
behind second base. Kitchens going back and makes the catch in shallow right for out number one. Brings Ben Richter to the plate. Richter, nine hole for the Broncos. Grounded out in his last at bat. Looking to spark something here. Hits that in the air to center field. Darrow coming in, will make the catch on the run for out number two. I'll flip it back to the top of the lineup. Jaden Stone coming up. Landon Rusink will lead things off here in the top of the six. Struck out in his last at bat, fouls that one. He's down 0 Wood. Marcus Miller going out for the sixth inning. Ball ricocheted back on the field. Martinez throws it back towards the Dakota Wesleyan dugout. And we'll resume play here. Oh, one count. That one hit him. Miller tried to go a little sidearm there. And hit Rusink in the leg. So that hit by pitch. We'll put a runner on first for Lane Darrow, leadoff hitter. Darrow struck out twice so far today in both of at bats. First one looking, second one swinging. 
Squares to bunt, and he's not able to get it down. Fouls it back to the backstop. Oh, one here. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him with the slider. No balls, two strikes now. He picks over. Rusink back in time. Miller comes set. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Third strikeout of the game for Lane Darrow. That's out number one. I'll bring Drew Kitchens to the plate. Kitchens, right-handed hitter versus the left-hander Miller. Throws over. Roosink back standing up. Miller comes set and delivers. That one misses low. 1-0 here. The pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Stone coming in. That's going to drop for a single. Rusink will hold at second. Runners on first and second now and one out. Caleb Myers coming up to the plate. Left on left here. Myers singled in his last at-bat. Runners on first and second. One out here. The pitch from Miller. Checks his swing. Tried to hold up, and he did go. Ball squirts away from Kissler. Both runners will advance. So now we have runners on second and third. One down. Rusink on third. And Kitchens on second. Miller looks in for the sign. He's got the one he wants and delivers. Fouled back to the Bronco dugout. Miller's ahead 0-2 now. Miller's got his sign. The 0-2 pitch. Foul off the side of the stadium and back into play. Bounces over to third base. Count remains 0-2. Millers and Myers battling it out here. Slight shift on the lefty. Ben Richter playing shaded a little bit. That one misses outside. One ball, two strikes now. Miller comes set. The one-two pitch. Yes, he did. Tried to hold up, but could not. Myers strikes out with runners on second and third, and now will be two outs now. Seth Christensen coming up to the plate. Christensen struck out and flew out in his last ABs. Timeout called. And they're going to intentionally walk Christensen to load the bases 
get to Oscar Pravacek, who grounded into a double play his last at-bat. Left on right here. Bases loaded, two outs. The pitch in there for a strike. Pravacek didn't like it, but he's down 0-1-1 here. Miller has got his sign. Comes set and delivers. That one misses outside. Kistler jumping to go get it. One ball, one strike here. Base is loaded, one ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Look at Big Hacken came up empty, and Miller's ahead one and two now on Provacek. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Base is loaded here in the top of the sixth. Marcus Miller comes set and delivers. Misses high. Two and two, count even now. Two two here. Miller has got the sign and comes set. Swing and a miss. He got him. But the base is loaded. Miller strikes out Pravacek to end the inning. Broncos still have a 3-0 lead. Going to the bottom of the six. More in just a moment. Jared Delgado will lead things off here. Broncos with a 3-0 lead. Bottom of the six. Brady Christoffel still on the mound for the Dakota Wesleyan in the sixth inning of work. Misses that one low. Not seeing any movement in the Dakota Wesleyan bullpen. That one is chopped off the pitcher's glove over to the second baseman who throws just in time to get retired Delgado for out number one. Bring Tyler Kistler to the plate. Kistler hit a double in his last at-bat, trying to start the offense here in the bottom of the sixth. Takes that one for ball one. Christoffels kicks and delivers. That one is grounded up the middle in the center field. That'll be a base hit. Kistler's second hit of the ball game. That puts a runner on first for Jace Valdez. Matt Lucero will be the courtesy runner for Tyler Kistler. Jace Valdez up to the plate. Valdez looking for his first hit of the ball game. That missed outside. One ball, no strikes.
Lucero takes his lead. Christoffels from the stretch. Little slide step. Runner goes. Hit and run is on. Ball is popped up into foul territory. Grabbed by the first baseman who flips it to the pitcher, and they'll double off Lucero. Lucero is running on the pitch and just had no opportunity to get back to first after the pop-up. Looked like the hit and run was on. And that is out number three. That'll end the sixth inning. Broncos still holding on to a 3-0 lead, though. We'll be back for the seventh inning in just a few moments. Shortstop, number 18, Joe Theraldson. Joe Theraldson will lead things off here, facing Marcus Miller. Miller going out for inning number seven, working from the windup as he does most of this game. Not a whole lot of base runners on for Dakota Wesleyan so far. That first pitch missed. That one is a swing and a miss. One ball, one strike now. He's got his sign. Kicks and deals. Popped up out of play. That's going to go to the parking lot. Miller is ahead one and two now. The pitch, swing and a miss. Got him with the slider. Strikes out Theraldson to start the inning. Michael Zeman up to the plate now. That one is in there for a strike. That one just missed. One and one now. That one is in there. Oh, no, just missed high. Two balls and one strike. That looked good from up here. The umpire says it missed. Two and one here. From the windup, the pitch. Lined into the left center gap. Hogan Camp ranging and not able to make the play. That gets over his head. Zeman rounding second, and he's going to hold there as the throw comes in. So Zeman picks up a double here with one out in the top of the seventh. That brings Ryan McGinnis up to the plate. McGinnis grounded out in his last at-bat. Left on right matchup here. That one's in there for a strike. Miller peers in for the sign, checks over at second and fires. 
That one missed outside and high. One ball, one strike is the count now. Miller comes set, working from the stretch. Fires that one low and inside, knocked down by Kissler. Great stop by the catcher. Two and one here. That held the runner at second. Wind blowing out now, out towards left center, where we've seen a lot of those balls just carry. That one is fouled straight back. And it's even now, two balls, two strikes. Miller trying to put him away here. Zeman takes his lead off second. Richter covering the bag. Miller looks over at him and fires. Low in the dirt, knocked down by Kissler again. Three balls, two strikes now. It's a full count here. One out, top of the seventh. Broncos have a 3 nothing lead. Miller comes set. And fires. Strike three called. Froze him there. And that is Miller's 10th strikeout of the ball game. Rings. Landon Roosink to the plate. Runner on second here. Three balls, no strikes. Miller facing Roosink. 1-0 here. The pitch. Just missed. A little inside. 2-0 here. So that strikeout was number 10. Tying Miller's career high for strikeouts. One away from setting his new personal best. That one misses low. Three balls, no strikes here. The pitch bounced in front of the plate. That'll be ball four. So Rusink takes the walk. That'll flip back to the top of the order. And a little confusion there as it looked like Zeman trying to catch the Broncos off guard. Took off for a third. Miller threw it over. The Delgado tried to cut him down at second. The ball hit him in the back of the head. So he ends up at, he will hold that second. Runners on first and second here for Lane Darrow. Two down in the top of the seventh. Joel Skipper's going to call timeout. Go talk to Miller. Looked like he gave him a look. Just wants to have a little time to reset after the walk. Little movement in the Bronco bullpen. Looks like Jaden Jurgensmeyer starting to warm up for the Broncos. Timeout is over here, and we'll. All the defense will return to their positions. One ball, no strike here on Lane Darrow. Miller has the sign, checks on the runner, and delivers. Swing and a miss. 
chase to slider low. One and one here. Miller comes set and delivers. That one's in the dirt, knocked down by Kessler. Good stop once again by the catcher. Working hard back there for the Broncos. Two balls and one strike. Miller checks on the runner at second. Fires at home. That is popped up in foul territory. Miller comes in and makes the catch himself for out number three. Miller, just in foul territory, catches the pop-up and ends the inning. Still 3-0. Broncos have the lead. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. We'll be back in a moment. Tyler Welsh will step up to the plate here. Brady Christoffels still in the ball game for Dakota Wesleyan. Right on right here, the pitch. Oh, give me over curveball is in there for a strike. He comes set. And delivers. That one is hit hard to left field. That is going to drop for a hit. Rusink picks it up and it gets by him. Welsh on his way to second. He's going to round and head for third. And he will be safe with a triple. A leadoff triple starts the top, bottom of the seventh for the Broncos. Welsh gets his first hit of the game. I will bring Tristan Martinez up to the plate. The defense for Dakota Wesleyan is playing in. That one is hit high and deep to left field. Will it stay fair? No. About a foot and a half foul. That was hit very deep and easily would have scored Welsh probably would have been extra bases if it landed about two feet to the right now it's just a long strike here for Tristan Martinez no outs runner on third that one misses high one ball one strike Christoffels comes set, kicks and fires. That one is hit in the air on the infield. Theraldson makes the catch for out number one. Brings Gavin Hogan Camp up to the plate. Hogan Camp had a triple in the first inning, then popped up to the third baseman and his last at bat one down here Christoffels working from the stretch fires that one in there for a strike
No balls, one strike. Swings and misses at that curveball in the dirt. Hogan Camp falls behind, no balls and two strikes. Broncos trying to score Welsh here. Extend their lead a little bit. The pitch hit him. Hit by pitch puts Hogan Camp on first. Runners on the corners now and one out for Dylan Otto. Otto had a sack fly that scored a run earlier in the game. One down here, Hogan Camp is on first. Always a threat to steal a bag. The speedy left fielder. The pitch, curveball in there for a strike. Oh and one here. The pitch outside bounces away from the catcher, and Welsh stays home. But Hogan Camp moves up to second. Runners on second and third here, and a one out for Dylan Otto. One one here. The pitch from Christoffels. Grounded to the third baseman. Stops the runner at third and throws across in time. To throw out Dylan Otto. A held Welsh at third and Otto grounds out. I'll be two down for Ben Richter. Two runners in scoring position and two outs now for the Broncos. Welsh on third, Hogan Camp on second. Brady Christoffels comes set and delivers. Missed that one. Tried to hit the outside corner. One ball, no strikes. The 1-0. Missed away. Stopped by the catcher. One and one now, or two and oh now, excuse me. Timeout called by Dakota Wesleyan. They're going to go talk to their pitcher. Give them time to settle down. Runners on second and third, and two outs here. Some movement down in the Dakota Wesleyan bullpen. Christoffels coming up and pitching his seventh inning. He's in a bit of a tight spot here. Two runners in scoring position. Ben Richter at the plate. Two balls, no strikes is the count. The pitch in there for a strike. Back in the strike column. Christoffels gets the sign he wants. That one in there for strike two. Curveball breaks into the zone. Count even now at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners on second and third. Here in the bottom of the seventh. The pitch swung on and fouled off into the parking lot. Richter keeps the at-bat alive.
2-2 here. Christoffels leans in for the sign. He's got it. And the pitch. Outside. Three balls and two strikes. The Dakota Wesleyan defense thought that was strike three. A big league take there from Richter laying off that one. And he works at full. Three balls, two strikes. Christoffels is set. The payoff pitch. Hit him. Richter wears it. And he's got a hit by pitch. That'll load the bases for Jaden Stone. Stone looking for his first hit of the day. He's got the bases loaded right here. Christoffels just hit Richter with the pitch. Right on left matchup here. Drops that curveball in there for a strike. Stone trying to spark something here. Welsh is on third, Hogan Camp on second, and Richter is on first. The pitch popped up, and that's going to go foul into the stands. Stone behind 0-2 now. Christoffels takes a while to get his sign. Now he's got the one he wants. The 0-2. Fouled back into the net. Stone fights off a tough pitch there. Keeps the count at 0-2. Base is loaded here. Two down. 0-2 count on Jaden Stone. The pitch inside and low. One and two. The one two pitch fouled out of play into the stands. Stone fouls off yet another one. Keeps the at-bat alive. Base is loaded. Broncos would love a little bit of insurance here. Lines it in the air to center field. Darrow going back. Makes the catch. And that will end the inning. So the Broncos leave them loaded. It's still a 3-0 ball game. They have the lead. We're heading to the top of the eighth here at Duncan Field. We'll be back in a moment.
Jaden Jurgensmeyer comes into pitch. Marcus Miller done for the day. He pitched seven innings. Gave up no runs on five hits. Jaden Jurgensmeyer, right handed pitcher from Grand Island, Nebraska, fires the first pitch in there for a strike against Drew Kitchens. Right on right here, Jurgensmeyer working out of the stretch. Swings and misses that one. And Jurgensmeyer gets ahead. 0-2 here on Kitchens. Got the sign. He comes set. The pitch. Outside. 1-2. and two. The junior right-hander. This will be his ninth appearance. No record. 11 innings pitched. He's got a 2.45 ERA. That one is grounded to short. Knocked down by Valdez, but he's not going to be able to make a play on it. It skips away from him. Oh, uh, infield hit for Kitchens. And that'll bring up Caleb Myers. Myers struck out in his last at bat. Jurgens Meyer comes set and fires that one in the dirt. Kitchen stays there. Nice block by Kissler. Right on left here. Myers has been a dangerous hitter today. Broncos shifting the lefty a little bit. He pops that one up to left field. Hogan Camp going back, going back, not able to make the catch. Ball just carried that one. Kitchens is going to stay at third. No, he's gonna. they're going to wave him in. He hesitated there. Throw comes in. Not in time. A nice throw, a relay from Ben Richter. One hopped to Kistler, but... Kitchens gets his hand in there just a fraction of a second before the tag is applied. And uh, Tigers scored their first run of the game. So that ball just kept carrying. Myers ends up with a triple. And Kitchens scores. It's a 3-1 ball game now. That one chopped foul down the third baseline. No outs here. Runner on third. With that, the Tigers have now out hit the Broncos 7-6 in this ballgame. Broncos hanging on to a 3-1 lead here. Right on right matchup, the pitch. Curveball. Misses just high. The pitch swings and misses, actions, fouls it back. Got a piece of it, makes it one ball, two strikes. Jurgensmeyer peers in for the sign. He's got the one he wants. The one two to Christensen. Swings and misses, just waved at it. A beautiful slider from Jaden Jurgensmeyer puts him away for out number one. Brings Oscar Pro Provacek up to the plate. Jurgensmeyer working quickly here. Fires that one low, knocked down by Kistler. Struck out in his last at bat, did Pravacek. Jurgensmeyer peers over at third, then fires. That one skips away from the catcher. And Myers is going to come in to score on the wild pitch. Uh, Max at a one run ball game. Three to two. Broncos still have the lead.
Jurgensmeyer looks to reset here. Two balls, no strikes. From the stretch, that one misses. Curveball didn't break into the zone. Now Jurgensmeyer is behind 3-0. The pitch fires that one in there for a strike. Fastball. One down here. 3 1 count to Pravacek. That one is flared foul. Count goes full now. Three balls, two strikes. Three, two, one out here. Nobody on base. The pitch from Jurgensmeyer fouled off. Nice pitch from Jurgensmeyer, but Pravacek is just able to get a piece of it. From the stretch, the 3 2 popped up, and that's going to go into the stands. Count remains full. Full count here, one down. The payoff pitch. Misses high. And Jurgensmeyer issues a walk to Pravacek. I'll bring Joe Theraldson to the plate. Looks like a pinch runner coming in for Pravacek. Uh, the Tigers wanting to get a little more speed on the base pass. The runner on first represents the tying run. Theraldson stepping up to the plate. Theraldson struck out in his last at bat. Delgado playing in, looking to defend the bunt. Playing right about on the grass. The pitch in there for a strike. Oh one. Jurgensmeyer checks on the runner. Picks over to first. He's back in time. Looks like number twenty four. J.T. Kostenbauer is the pinch runner. Theraldson at the plate. Jurgensmeyer from the stretch. Kicks home. That is chopped to the short. Valdez over to second for one. Richter doesn't have a play at first. So they get the lead runner for out number two. Nice play there by Valdez. That'll bring Michael Zeman to the plate. Jurgensmeyer checks on the runner. Holds there for a while and fires home. That one bounces off Kistler and takes a wild hop up the first baseline. And... Kostenbauer moves up to second on the fastball. One and zero oh here. The pitch, strike, fired it in there. Count even at one and one now. He's got the sign he wants. Checks over on Costin Bauer at second. And fires home. Curveball misses outside.
Two balls, one strike here. The pitch just missed. A hair outside brings the count to three and one. Hitters count here. The three one to Theraldson. Ball four and Broncos are not happy with the call. That not quite sure where that missed. It looks like we have a pinch hitter here, number 26, Nate Myers, coming up to the plate for Dakota Westland. Runners on first and second and two outs now. Jaden Jurgensmeyer trying to work out of it. Timeout called by Joel Skipper. He's going to go have a conversation. Help Jurgensmeyer settle in. There's a little movement in the Bronco bullpen. Looks like Danny Weiser and Cole Peterson are both getting loose. Trying to give them a little more time to get loose if they are needed. So Myers, Nate Myers, hitting for Zeman here in the top of the eighth. It's a 3-2 ball game. Tying run is on second. Go-ahead run is on first. Two down here. Myers getting his first AB here of the ball game and of the day. Right on right matchup. The pitch in there for a strike. Jurgensmeyer comes back and fires one in there. Gets ahead 0 1. Checks on the runner. The pitch. Uh, it's in there for strike two. Dakota Wesleyan bullpen letting the umpire have it. They thought that one missed low. But Jurgensmeyer's ahead 0-2 now. Checks on the runner. The 0-2. Just missed. A little high. That was an awful close pitch. Myers does a good job holding off on it. One ball, two strikes here. The pitch. Grounded. Picked up by the shortstop. Flips it over to second baseman for out number three. So the Broncos limit the damage. They still have a, the lead. It's a 3-2 ball game. Heading into the bottom of the eighth. We'll be back with more from Duncan Field in just a few minutes.
Logan Miller into pitch for Dakota Wesleyan. A tall left-hander who will face Jared Delgado to lead off the bottom of the eighth. 3-2 ball game. First pitch bounces away. That's a ball. One ball, no strikes. The first offering from Miller skips away to the backstop. Working out of the windup, kicks and deals. That one way high. Overcorrected there, and Delgado gets ahead 2-0 here. Miller's a senior, originally from Rapid City, South Dakota, making his seventh appearance on the season. Rocks and fires. That one's in there for a strike. Miller has pitched six innings, has a nine flat ERA. Five strikeouts and a 2.5 whip. The pitch bounces away. Three balls and one strike now. A hitter's count for Delgado. The 3-1 here. This is inside, and he works a first pitch walk to Jared Delgado. That brings Tyler Kistler up to the plate. Number five, Tyler Kistler. The lefty working out of the stretch now. Kistler squares to bunt. Pulls back, it's a ball. One ball, no strikes now. Broncos faced Miller in game one. He came in relief. Kistler is squared to bunt. Gets it down. That'll stay fair. They're going to pick it up the first baseline and step on the bag for out number one, but the sacrifice moves Jared Delgado into scoring position. Jace Valdez will come up to the plate now with the runner in at second. Broncos looking to have a, some insurance here. The pitch misses inside. Miller's been kind of coming across his body, throwing a lot of pitches inside. One ball, no strikes here on Valdez. Delgado takes his lead. The pitch. Popped foul, and that will drop in foul territory. One ball, one strike now. Count even now. Valdez. Hit that pop-up that ended up doubling off the runner in his last at-bat. The pitch from Miller, fouled on the first base side, and Valdez is down one and two now. One ball, two strikes. Delgado is on second. There is one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Checks on the runner. The pitch. Misses outside. Ball bounces out of the catcher's glove, but Delgado will hold at second.
Miller peers in for the sign. He's got what he wants. The 2-2 two -two to Valdez. Hit foul and out of play once again. Valdez working the count. Fallon pitches off the opposite way. Count remains at two and two. Miller shakes off the sign. Now he's got what he wants. Checks on Delgado and delivers. Misses high. Valdez works it full here. Three balls, two strikes, one out here. Delgado moving around at second. That misses outside, and Valdez works it for a walk. That'll bring Tyler Welsh up to the plate, the designated hitter. Welsh tripled in his last at-bat. Looks like they're going to pinch run for Valdez. Santo Shurko going out to run. So Shurko will go over to first to run for Valdez. Delgado is on second. One out here, Tyler Welsh up. See the wind still blowing steadily to left center. That one is fouled off into the stands. No balls, one strike here. Miller comes set, checks over on the runner at first and second, and delivers. That one is fouled down the line, down towards the Dakota Wesleyan bullpen. Welsh is down 0 and 2 now. Miller comes set. Picks over to second and throws it into center field. Delgado will hold at second. Darrow was right there to back it up. Tried to do a little spin pick there. On sailed it into center field. Runners at first and second. No balls, two strikes here on Tyler Welsh. Checks over on the runner at second and delivers. Inside, snagged by Ryan McGinnis, the catcher. One ball, two strikes now. One, two here. Martinez is on deck. The pitch chopped through the hole into right field. They are going to send Delgado home. Throw coming in. The ball bounced out of the glove. So Delgado comes around and sc scores on the single from Tyler Welsh. Makes it a four to two ball game. A single from Welsh extends the lead for Tristan Martinez. Right 
Oh, runners on first and third now. Welsh on first, Sherco on third. And timeout is called from Dakota Wesleyan. He's going to go have a meeting. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change. Miller is pulled after one-thirds of an inning, giving up a run to the Broncos. There's runners on first and third. One out. And Tristan Martinez due up to hit. We'll be back after the pitching change. Logan Davis coming into pitch here after Miller only goes a third of an inning, giving up two a hit and a run, two runs. Martinez tries to bunt and trying to squeeze Sherco in. The bunt rolls foul. Four to two ball game here. Davis, senior out of Omaha, Nebraska, has a 8.10 ERA and 13 innings pitched. That one is fouled out of play. Martinez down 0 2 now. Davis appeared in game one yesterday. The 0-2 in the dirt, picked up by the catcher, McGinnis. One ball, two strikes is the count here on Martinez. The 1-2 pitch, swings and misses, took a big hack and came up empty. Oh, Martinez goes down swinging. That is out number two. That'll bring Gavin Hogan Camp up to the plate. Hogan Camp tripled in his first at bat, popped out, and then was hit by a pitch in his last at bat. That one bounces and knocked down. Impressive stop by McGinnis behind the plate. 
Davis spiked a fastball. He's just able to get around it and knock it down. One ball, no strikes here on Hogan Camp. Davis comes set. Curveball misses high. Two balls, no strikes now. Broncos up 4-2. to two. The runner on first and a runner on third. They'd love to get one more here going into the last inning. Hogan Camp checks his swing and holds up. He works ahead. Three balls and no strikes. A lot of patience here from the freshman. Pitch, and the dirt gets away from the catcher. Shurko is going to come home and score. Welsh moves up to second. It's a 5-2 ball game. Eli Merritt coming up to the plate. It's like a pinch hit here for Dylan Otto. Welsh is on second. Hogan Camp is on first. Eli Merritt up to the plate. Broncos take a 5-2 lead. Davis comes set. Checks on the runner. That one's in there for a strike. Davis peers in for the sign. He's got the one he wants. Checks on the runner. And slide steps home. Curveball missed a low. One ball, one strike. Davis comes set. Checks on the runner and delivers. That one caught the outside corner for a strike. Well, Merritt's behind one and two now. The one-two pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Darrow going back. Looking up at the wall. It's going to one-hop the wall. Merritt on his way to third. Welsh scores. Hogan Camp scores. Merritt's into third with his triple. And he's going to turn and hold there. Almost wanted to head for home. The throw almost bounced away from the cutoff man. And two more runs score. Stand up triple from Eli Merritt makes it a 7 to 2 ball game. The Broncos offense comes alive once again here in the bottom of the 8th. They put up four runs. They've got a runner on the third. Two down. Ben Richter at the play. That one almost hit him. Richter was hit by a pitch in his last at-bat. All right, to see if he can extend the inning here. Chops it to second. Picked up by Kitchens, who throws over to first. And that'll end the inning. But the Broncos score four. They've got a 7-2 lead heading into the ninth inning. We'll be back in a moment.
Diego Giro will pinch hit for Ryan McGinnis to start off the top of the ninth. Jaden Jurgensmeyer back out on the mound. Missed that one high, 1-0. The pitch in there for a strike. Dropped a curveball in. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Took a big hack and came up empty. Jurgens Meyer comes set, working from the stretch. That one is outside. One ball, two strikes. Or excuse me, count even now at two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 two -two. fouled it off. A piece of a little fastball on the outside corner managed to fight it off. The 2-2, two -two. strike three called. Throws him with a curveball. And Giro goes down looking for out number one. I'll bring Lane Darrow to the plate. That one missed. One and zero here from the stretch. That one is chopped towards third, picked up by Delgado. Fires a bullet across the diamond for out number two. The Broncos are one out away now. That brings Drew Kitchens to the plate. Kitchens had a single in his last at bat. Jurgensmeyer kicks and deals. That one misses a little high. 1 0 here. Comes set and delivers. That one is chopped towards third. Delgado takes it, fires it across the diamond in time. For out number three, and that's the ball game. Broncos take game two. Final score, seven to two. Jurgens Meyer puts him away. Marcus Miller's going to get the win. He went seven innings. Ten strikeouts, tying his career high. And he got five runs, or excuse me, five hits. And no... Runs. Jurgensmeyer went two, gave up two, two hits and two runs. The loss is going to go to Brady Christoffels. He went seven innings, gave up six hits and three runs. With that, the Broncos improved to. 3 and 13 in conference, 11 and 25 on the season. Dakota Wesleyan will go to 5 and 9 in conference and 13 and 21 on the season. So Broncos will split the series with Dakota Wesleyan, two games apiece, winning the second game both days. Both wins featured dominant pitching performances. This one from Marcus Miller. Once again, final score, 
Dakota Wesleyan 2, Hastings College 7. Thank you so much for joining us today and this whole weekend here at Duncan Field. Be sure to tune back in Wednesday afternoon at 2 or the next Broncos home games. We'll be bringing you the action on Wednesday as well. This has been a production of the Hastings College media team brought to you by the Hastings College Center for Applied Media Arts. My name is Vince Byrne. Once again, thank you so much for joining us this weekend and